Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another brand new video of uh, Nest.js Advance. And the last video and this video is really very important because in the last video also we talked about how to deal with the Nest.js dynamic modules. Even you can create your own brand new dynamic modules. Let's say in the last video we talked about the email module and we were able to instantiate that module using email module dot register and register a sync. Now in this video we are going to build the version 3 of it. So version 1 and version 2 we have already covered in the last video. Version 3 we are going to talk about the dynamic modules in more depth so that that dynamic module can be configured in all different possible ways. Okay so what we are going to do is I will create uh, another package and that package will be a dynamic module. I'm going to create an HTTP module for my service for my application. So let's say in my organizations we are using uh, different implementations of calling external services. So I'm going to provide a, a library which can be used across all the projects so that the implementation will be the same. So app HTTP. Let's say this is the, the module name. I will copy a couple of things from here and there like config package JSON TS config. Uh, app HTTP. I will just remove the things which I don't need node mailer and node mailer i don't need okay i may be dependent on the config module and this is dev http config in inside app http we are going to write code inside our source here i will create an index.ts which will export all the things okay now what my final objective of uh, this whole implementation is when when i create this package everything is done I should be able to use that package in my domain module something like this http module dot for root async that should be configurable in all different ways either you can pass uh, you, either you can configure it using use factory use class use existing all different options because for root async this module needs only the http client module options being passed through this object so either you pass that object by just calling use factory and dependent depending on another config module or maybe use class or different possible ways so we need to we need to design our modules in such a way that we should be able to implement or use that particular module in all different possible ways at the client end side okay so uh, let's uh, build that so this is the one way like for root async and we should be able to expose the for root method also on top of that. So we are going to build this as a configurable modules that can be used with all these different custom providers like use class, use factory and use existing. And how we simply do it is uh, you can simply say okay, okay for, root, for root async and here instead of doing it like this you can also use simple use factory. How we do it you simply use uh, use factory. I mean currently it's not implemented that's why it will give a typescript error but something like this also and here you can pass okay what is the host I mean based on what is what are the options it is taking from the consumer right this is another way of implementing this or for root async and you can also do use class so here instead of this you can do use another implementation use class and here you can pass config service or another implementation you can use use class and use existing and you can pass the config service so our config module our module HTTP client module should be configurable by all different custom providers either you pass use class use factory and use existing if you are not familiar with these these are like just okay class based provider factory based provider or uh, this is a string token based providers where you want to create a new instance of the same service with just a different uh, instance name okay these are the three different uh, possible ways of uh, doing it use existing to reuse the existing singleton instance to use factory to use a function provider like uh, earlier we were using use factory only if you see this is use factory which is just hard coding all the values or you can use another module like config module 
and can use use factory and return the config module option object so use factory to use a function as a function provider this is we are passing this as a provider or use class where you can just pass the private con service config service option as a provider okay so these things our module should satisfy so let's uh, build it here we go to our uh, index.ts here we will start writing our module implementation so it's http everything is done we can do pnpm install at the root so we can get all the dependencies okay so this implementation is going to be really tricky and we are going to use some core concepts uh, of uh, how to build a dynamic module so till now you might be using only like nest.js type rm or nest.js config or nest.js elastic search uh, there are many modules which nest.js provides under the hood what all things are there if i talk about nest.js type rm right because that you might have used a lot i will just talk about one simple example so that you don't feel like okay what we are talking about so nest.js we we'll look into the code okay this is library and we'll try to see what is inside so that i can build my own uh, modules the module can be just as simple as okay that module we might be just making an external http call right so here you can see i created type rm core module that module is giving me all the options right it is taking type rm module options as an input and then it is providing these uh, methods right for root async and you might see the for root also somewhere you can see for root right and then it is just initializing your database connections with the for root and for root async it is taking your uh, injectable provider use factory type or module options okay. yes this one so whatever the options you are passing it will just pass the name and just create a data source factory and it will give it to you that's it right so similarly we are going to build our own and then uh, if you understand this you can build any custom module uh, by just creating a wrapper on the elastic search by creating a wrapper onto the send grid by creating a wrapper onto any existing library or you can create your own core library like http call so there are two services wants to call each other uh, we already know that we can do it with axios but i want to create a configurable nest.js module nest.js http my own nest.js my own http that i can use to pass the options like it can take x api key custom authorization token the origin all these properties so instead of using axios i want to write my own and use my own so what all we need to do is i will create the, the required folders http client http client constant client constants dot ts i will create these files quickly and here instead of uh, whatever we are going to do is create a service http client dot service.ts and then there is a module http client dot module dot ts then we also need one interface and provider then we need provider so i'm just creating a skeleton for now and then we will add the code provider we also need one decorator okay decorator module provider service service provider module interface constant decorator we have everything and i can create index.ts so index.ts is something where we are exporting all these things outside so this is what we are exporting 
HTTP client provider module services. Okay. Now we will first try to structure our module or simply our provider, right? Because that's going to be our service that we are going to write. So service and provider, provider will use our service. So we already know what service, what is the logic this module is going to provide. So I will just write HTTP export class and it's non-injectable uh, class because it's plain class we are writing. HTTP client service because this service is going to be used by different custom providers. So no need to create this as a injectable class. It's a plain class and let's say our API call is taking two arguments API key and the URL. So here we are going to create a constructor. Okay, and it will provide a method simply async fetch. A simple provider method uh, which takes two arguments. Let's say method of uh, type string and data is of type any. Okay, and how we already know how to write a simple Axios uh, API call, right? So it should go into return promise. We need to add uh, Axios in this package. FHTTP and PM add Axios. I, okay. And we will import Axios response because this is going to return Axios, Axios response. Okay, TypeScript is lazy. Axios response of type any. This is the data it will return. The function method, what's the problem with this? Now, what it will do is return Axios. We have done this many times. And you can pass the whole object and it's a sync method right so what you will do is you will pass method you will pass data and url so url and api key we want a user to pass all these parameters because we can't hard code it we are going to get this from the dynamic module options so we will create a private read only api key api url that is of uh, type string initialized with empty and similarly we have another attribute is api key private read only api key that is of type string and api key is also empty quotes okay and using this constructor what this constructor will do is through this constructor we should be able to pass we are going to inject something which end user while consuming this module is going to Pass. So here this is what we are going to inject. So let's say the inject is HTTP client module option. This is the token based injection. And this is inject. What is happening with this TypeScript? I will import this. What? Okay, I will type manually. Import inject from nestjs common. I don't know why it's not importing things the way I want. And then this module option is a string, right? So I can create an interface for that. Inside the constant, I can just say is export const. This is a token which we are injecting so i will import this add import from that and then simply i will just say is private read only read only options http client module options so we need to create an interface for that also like what all options you are specifying so inside this interface Export interface HTTP client module option. So it is taking two argument, right? API key, which is of type string, API URL, which is of type string. Okay, so we'll just import this HTTP client module option. And then just assign these variables. So how we do assign is API key is coming from the options, API URL is coming from the options okay declared uh do we need to initialize them 
because these are the, the read only variables and we are initializing that in just constructor so it should be good like this also you don't need to specify read only also private api url so here this dot api key or api url why it is saying declared value never used yeah we just reassigned it we haven't used the the value so what we are going to do inside url and the headers right we are going to pass them inside a url and the headers so here we will use that those properties now everything is good so we are just writing custom implementation on top of h this axios and we are going to expose this request config we don't need okay so this is our service this service we are going to expose through the module right so what we are going to do is we are going to create a module so let's focus on creating a simple module is here and here we are going to create a global module so i will just say global is coming from nicest common and module definition it's a global module and here i will just say export class and okay export class and my module name is http client module this is a simple class now but it's going to have these methods for root and for root async which we have defined for in the last video also like public static for root or register or register async whatever the the module name you want and this is going to return a dynamic module right similarly we are going to have another method is for root async so for root and for root async it's also going to return the dynamic module okay what it is going to return now so we are going to create a provider so for root const provider equal to okay sometimes i type fast and i don't know like if it is uppercase or lowercase so provider is of type uh, provider provider we can get from nsts common okay this provider we are creating create http client provider this is the method we are going to write for for root and for root async because for both the methods we need to get the provider so this is for root we are going to call this method once we get the provider we will just return okay what we are returning is we are going to call the method okay this is the module we are returning the module name is http client module this is how we write it providers i'm going to get the providers because if you remember in the email module also we did the same thing just in just a different way it is returning a it is returning a module the module name providers and exports same thing we are doing here inside this it is returning module providers and same thing we are exporting the same set of providers but we are just creating these providers at dynamically like okay we are going to call a method that method will decide okay what will be the providers and here for root async will also be doing the same thing here we are going to pass the options right so options it is http client module options http client module options and then while calling this providers creating the provider i will pass the options similarly here i will be calling the same options and http client module options so it will be async options same as the the last video we need to create a async options in our so what we need to do is uh, client module async options so in, in from the interface we can create a async options also so here we created a simple module options for the for root but for for root async you need to create async options so i will try to create this module metadata uh, http client module factory 
this also we need to define export interface HTTP client module factory I mean why we are doing this because we want to allow our uh, our nest JS dynamic module to be configured either by inject either by use class use existing or the use factory that is going to return the uh, return the promise of the client module options otherwise use class we are passing the factory and this is our simple factory that is going to call that is going to have a create HTTP module option that is going to return the HTTP client module options so this code looks complex but let me break it down so we need to pass HTTP client module options for the for root but for the dynamic uh, asynchronous module you need to pass async options and async options can take any argument because this module should be configured by use class all the custom providers so we need to pass use class use existing use factory that we have decided right because while configuring it you will be passing here you will be passing either a use factory use class use existing so async options should be able to take all those inputs so here inside a module or inside interface we are allowing you to pass class use existing different instance of a service or use factory a provider okay now go back to the module here we imported this and this is our option so let's go to the module and de define our this create HTTP client provider method so inside for root async we will create a providers const provider and provider is of type provider okay here it will we will create a provider so what we are going to inject is HTTP client module options okay and it is going to provide us this token HTTP client token this we need to import and use factory so there are many different ways of implementing it async and then it is taking these uh, dynamic module options options HTTP client module option client module options and what is this going to return is get so here we are going to define another method get HTTP, HTTP client module options we can return this so we need to define all these methods so once you get the providers we what what this method is going to finally return is this return module HTTP client module imports it will allow you to pass the all the imports because options dot imports and providers we are going to get a list of providers so this dot create async provider this method we are going to call by passing the options and the provider which we have created here and export provider okay interesting so if you look at the design of both the methods for root and for root async both are doing the same thing it is getting the provider and returning me this module uh, module providers and exports here also it is doing the same thing module providers and exports imports because we want to configure it for all the different options and here we can just create async providers now the providers because you will be using custom providers use class or use existing and uh, use factory so we need to deal with all these different uh, provider options so i will be calling this method and the custom provider i have already passed it here so one is the default provider i need to import this add this in the constant this is a token based injection export const and inside module import this thing And now we need to define this method so i will be passing the options for this and so here create http client provider 
there is another method we are calling here is a get HTTP client provider. So let's implement that. So let's first create this HTTP client provider and here we can do it. We already have this provider. So what we will do is export function create HTTP client provider. This will take some options and going to return me what it is going to return a provider. It is going to return a provider so and it is going to take an options as input. So what are the options HTTP client module option. Right uh, everything is sorted now what it is going to return is the provide it is going to be return a token right HTTP client token and the use value this is how we are overriding the the token I mean we are going to pass these object option object when you inject HTTP client token inside a service. So get HTTP client module options so here I will just call get HTTP client module option I mean this is little lengthy I cannot help with that this is how it is designed and this is how you will create a packages HTTP client module option and it is going to return with the service if you remember right we have already have this service we just need to pass the instance of this service to this provider and what we are returning from this it is taking this options of HTTP client module option I mean it's just a long chain but what it is doing is it is going to return me this is going to return HTTP client service so it will just return the instance of return new HTTP client service which we have created because this service we are going to invoke we will pass the two options so this you are going to call it here what happened we need to pass the options now it is complete I will format this and try to explain what we have done so we are creating a provider what is a provider means provider means it is going to provide you this token and this token will represent a service method a service right and this is how we are getting the object of this service you can see HTTP client service this is non injectable so we are creating the instance of it and passing the option and this is going to return us the instance of this HTTP client service where you can call the fetch method so this is what this provider is doing so it is giving you a simple provider which you can pass inside the providers for the module now inside module I will import this this is for simple for root for root is done for root is complete there is no anything we need to add here we are getting the custom providers we are passing the provider in the providers and exports and what provider is nothing but a simple token it's like a token based injection we will be doing we created a string based token the value of this is a token right a string and the, the value of this is an instance of this because here we are what we are getting is the object of this service class okay so ta -ta -ta, this is our client module now we need to work on these two methods client module options and uh, we already got the provider so let's go to the main module HTTP client module here it is taking providers and we already got one provider this is the provider okay so for root async get HTTP client module options and there are two methods create async provider because this this for root async is more little complex because you will be uh, passing uh, you will be using use factory use class existing class and all these different uh, things to inside for root async because these options will be if you see these options you can pass inject use class use existing use factory so we need to handle all these scenarios and here we are providing the HTTP client token same as the this one 
and we are passing the HTTP client module options which contains two properties key and value right a API URL and API key so now we need to define the methods private static uh, create async provider and here and there is another method we have is get HTTP module option So this, these both the methods we need to define. So get HTTP module options. This is what I'm talking about because this is also giving me the default provider, right? So I was just writing a typo, get HTTP client module option. This is the default provider we have added. But uh, there may be a case where you are passing a use class and use factory. So we need to define these two methods create a sync provider and this async provider will further call a method okay so this is important rest all it's done right uh, because here it will take two providers one is maybe a custom instance of the same service or this default provider will always be passed that is just nothing but an instance of this http client service you see it is returning me return new http client service and that is being added to this token same we are doing here okay create async providers let's uh, define this it is taking HTTP client async module options and it is going to give me the providers array okay ta -ta -ta, provider array now we are going to play with these options let's say in options you are passing the use existing or uh, use existing you are passing or options inside that you have use factory any of this you are passing so you will just return this dot create async module provider and you will pass the options okay create async options provider this is the method we are going to define so that is the first case when you are passing the use existing or use factory and then const use class here if you are passing options dot use class as type of http client module factory okay if this is you are returning if this is what you are passing then i'm going to return you the providers First of all, this dot create a sync provider. Create a sync options provider. This is what you will return first by passing the options. And then another argument is here what you are providing use class and use class. That's it. Now the final is you just need to create uh, this method. I will write it and I will explain you what this method is. Create a sync options provider. By this type, create a sync provider. Okay, so the whole module is done. Now let's try to read it what it is about. So let's say you are passing a use existing and use factory, then we just need to return you this custom provider right because you are using the existing class only right we are just passing the custom options custom configurable options from provider that's it but let's say if you are using a use class another class instance in that case we need to create a async option provider that looks like this option.use factory do it and uh, then return the providers like this http client options options factory dot create HTTP client module options and inject so it is handling all the three different cases either you are passing use class use existing and use factory okay here if you are using use factory then you will just return it like this otherwise you are using use class then you will return this provider like this provide use factory and inject okay so this is pretty much we have I will just add the type also here so this is our async module so we have our module we have interface 
we have our provider we have our service now how we can export things from here this is simple HTTP client module and inside module we are allowing you to call two methods for root and for root async async is taking all these options use class use existing use factory so you can provide more custom implementation for it so now we will just build it i'm exporting all those things from this module and i will add the dependency of uh, this module in the package.json of my application so here with the email config we will add http also and i will do the build for my nest.js app so i can get this package added and then we'll go to our domain module and we'll try to play with this so here http client module definition should be added now i will import http client module from from dev ta -ta -ta. it should be coming from dev http okay it's not important let's change so what i will do is i will go to the root then i will do pnpm install because we didn't install it i just added the one line okay add this package but we need to do pnpm install so that http module should get added here you can see now http i can see here right so i should be able to import now dev http and it is importing http client module what happened it should be importing http client module is it uppercase http client module okay corresponding type and declaration so it didn't get it that is just a typescript fun dev http okay what my package json it's a dev http and i can see things in the build right all these things are available in the scope of this uh, nest.js app so it should be able to import things dev http and then here this is the http config service and config module right here you will pass config module we have our own config module we have our own config service and this is app config service whatever the instance instance config is of app config service and here let's say you wanted to you can add these two more attributes in the config services base url and api key So we go to our config package because we are passing this configuration runtime from another module. So config module, config default. This is let's say the API. So there are two attributes, I think. API URL. Again, I need to go to that package. Here what we are passing is base URL and API key. Okay, go to the config and here we can have base URL and API key. Right, so this is you can say API or you can say external API. So define your interface, external API. So we'll call it as an API config. and we'll just create this interface export interface api config so it contains api url type string and api key i think that is the value or something else it's a base url so i will just change it to api url and inside service I can simply say, okay, uh, this is external API. I got the API URL, API key. And I will be getting this thing from the env. So 
so your environment variable is let's say platform api key and platform api url these things you will populate in your dot env what is wrong here okay it needs to be initialized so if you're not passing i will initialize them with empty strings and now i will just build this config module npm run build this is being added here so i will build this one you will get the updated package definition now we'll go to the domain module here config this is the config service right config.get dot dot external api dot api url that's it so we are configuring our dynamic module in our nest.js application which we just created api key and api url now in your dot env what you need to do is you need to have that uh, variables which we configured in the config service so we need to have all, all of these and currently we don't have values email service name email password email username and platform api key and platform api url just put the values whatever you have let's say the api key is something like this api url is something like this service name something password something username something okay now i can build this uh, package our application package i don't think now we are getting any errors so what we did is we have added this client module but we need to use this client module somewhere in our services right so how we do it we are already injecting the token so let's see what it is providing first of all HTTP client module is added now we should be able to use the service provided by this module now we can see how we can use this module which we have created in our application so first thing first is add that in the domain module that is the initialization right now we can use the services provided by this module by using inject right so this is our user service inside user service i'm saying inject http client token and the instance of http client service and i can just use api service dot fetch all the methods whatever the method it is providing so currently there is no api url i mean we are just passing some dummy implementation right api service dot patch it is taking a different argument right if you see the http client service there is some typescript magic it's not linking but if you see here what we have defined in the service there is a fetch method which is taking method and data so if it is your if you are passing post you can send the body otherwise data can be null okay so the, that same thing we can do here at the consumer side where we are consuming it inside user service we first of all injected the service because we already initialized the module now service dot fetch obviously it will break because it is going to trigger this local host api key is something hello which we are not using let's say we are hitting 3010 and the get method it's like we are calling the same http get method then i think in that case it should not break now if i hit this method okay what it is saying is let me just restart this app because it is using still using the old port npm run start dev and now i will go to my service my user service where i'm using it this is my user service and i will call this method okay strange let's see where it is trying to hit Exios call
is it have we passed https oh man the problem we are passing https obviously we are not using ssl sorry for that and now we'll start it so this is our user service i will go back again there now it is failing because this request method status is not found okay await this dot service dot patch get i mean it should be trapped inside try catch it should not fail at least the whole api currently i don't have anything to trigger you can see now it's working and it is making just a simple api call which is throwing 404 because what I'm trying to access is some random host and some random port. The overall objective is I wanted to show you how this really works. It is calling the, calling the fetch endpoint. Right? xgos.fetch. API service.fetch. This is the URL and this is how we can use this module at the service level. Okay. Now this is the whole story about a dynamic module. You can use it, this service anywhere you want to make an external API call. You can pass API keys, URL and all. Okay. So this is the whole story. Now let's see what we want to talk about in the next module because the module one is kind of done. So with this, we are able to finish these concepts like dynamic module. Here I will try to zoom this a little bit. Dynamic module, circular dependency we have discussed. Injection scopes, like we have already talked about the custom provider and dependency injection. There are th three different scopes. We'll talk about request transients and default. But asynchronous provider, custom provider, these topics, which we considered a, as a good topics to understand lots of things about NestJS are done. Now we'll talk about the integrations and all high level uh, integration concepts, building the APIs, building GraphQL APIs, creating custom modules and custom package. So what next you can do is, or I will also talk about that. Here I have added some packages, right? So this is my apps. These are my packages. Inside packages we have, we have recently created this app HTTP. This is a configurable package which you can publish and anybody can use it. You can just provide a document. Okay, these are the options you need to pass. HTTP module options and you can use it. So we can also publish this package and can be consumed by anyone. So let's explore that part also with uh, these videos. So module one is now done done. I will talk about uh, the next topics. I will also put that in the readme and we'll proceed further. I will push this code on the GitHub so you can also have a look.